All I can say is roofers don't have anything on this concrete guy. And his trailer's uh, tail heavy. Just saying. Check that out. Just wow. We're rolling about 70 right now on the interstate. Look at that. Hello everybody, good day to you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whichever one applies to you at this current point in time, we're gonna go with that. This is a 2008 Jaguar XJ. Customer states the uh, AC is underperforming. Surprise, surprise, it's summertime in sunny Florida. And uh, the, uh, the sunroof leaks, I guess water comes in. So uh, we're gonna figure that out. And it's hot in here. Begin ventilation now. 155,185 miles on the odometer. Some of you guys might recognize this car. We had some crispy critters uh, eat some fuel injector wires on this uh, at one point in time. You know, there was one more thing that, and I forget what it is, something, oh, power steering, power steering, that's what it was. I guess uh, this morning the power steering was inoperative. Why are there Home Depot buckets full of liquid in the parking lot? That doesn't go there. I'll investigate that later. Warning, seatbelt. Warning. Warning. Here, let's open up this uh, sunroof. I want to take a look at the seals. All right, I don't, I don't see a seal here on the chassis. It's got to be on the glass itself. Let's, uh, let's close this again. Yeah, yeah. Looks like. Oh, nope. Stop. Stop doing that. Stay, stay right here. Yeah, I do believe this is the seal. It's a little hardened. Is this replaceable? Hmm. Yeah, it should be replaceable. I can peel it out of there. That means I've got to remove the glass. Okay. Let's close it again. Uh, no, the other closed. There we go. What? What are you doing? Why are you doing this to me? Stay. Okay, yeah, yeah. I think the seal actually occurs right here. A little weird. Yeah, it has to be here because it can't be anywhere else. The odd thing is though, is any water that comes in should make its way down the drains right here. There's a drain there and a drain there and the tube's gonna run down the pillar and then drain outside of the car in the fender. Ow, that was hot, I touched it. So there's really only gonna be one way to confirm this leak or not and that's gonna be to give this the garden hose test. So let's go ahead and back this thing back out and go over to the car wash station. Backing out, safety. Okay, see what we've got going on here? Garden hose simulating an afternoon shower over top of the sunroof. We're gonna go inside and check for leaks. We're gonna have to make haste because I don't want water to come in and get all over the floor. So here we go. Run. Oh no, we're getting wet inside. Run. All right. Now. Let's see what's going on with some water here. Hmm. I don't know. Well. I wonder if the unit is failing to close all the way. A little odd. It seems to be sealed right now. Very interesting. Yeah, so far so good. I don't see any water in here. Uh, I don't see any water marks. 
where water has been coming in, that's a good telltale indicator. A lot of times if you see like water staining around the headliner in any kind of area, that's an indicator that water came in. But I'm not seeing that in this car just yet. And I'm also feeling around up here. I don't, uh, I don't feel any moisture. All right. You know, I'm just gonna have to let time do its thing and I'll check back in on this in a moment. So I think what I'll do to be efficient is I'll let this thing just uh, keep pouring water on the seal. I'll jump back out and uh, I'll go diagnose the AC stuff real quick. I'm, I'm probably not gonna do much recording of that because we've seen enough AC videos uh, in, in recent weeks and I don't wanna bore you guys or get you burnt out on AC work. Uh, so uh, I'll touch base on it a couple times here and there. So stay tuned, don't go anywhere. Interesting challenge. I need to keep water from coming in, but I have to get out. And I also have to pop an easy hood, but I don't remember where the lever is. Is that it? Nope. That's a uh, that's something else. Uh-oh. Backed myself into a corner on this one, didn't I? Maybe it's over there. Maybe it's down there. No, no, no. Where oh, no? What do I do? Oh, I see it. No, I, see, I know where it is. It's, it's over here. Click. All right, let's do the mad dash to jump out. Powering down. I'm gonna take the key with me in case this car decides it wants to lock me out. Here we go. Run! I'm gonna move the stream a little bit so we get some, uh, some greater coverage of the affected area. There we go. All right, back inside again. And I was looking around and I saw a little bit of water right here. There's a little bit right there too. I hope you guys can see. If we, uh, if we look a little farther back, it's definitely, definitely coming in. Look at there, look at that, it's pouring in. Found it. All right, let's get out of here and shut this water off before I flood this guy's car. All right, so this could be an exercise in futility but I wanna just kinda of clean up the seal uh, area here and also around the paint where the lip is just to see if uh, I can arrest the, uh, the leakage, so to speak. Perhaps there's just a bunch of dirt there and that dirt is uh, allowing a path for water to escape. Gently, there. So I'm kinda of just gonna wipe that down just to make sure that we don't start changing rubber parts and pieces of glass for no reason. Now I can clean it. Now, like I said, this may be an exercise in futility, but I want to do it anyway. At the very least, the glass cleaner will make the car smell good. What is this? Nothing. Okay. Okay, let's open this again and then we can inspect for uh, something that may have caused that leak to occur. Click. Yeah, again, I don't see anything here that would allow for a, a primary seal between the body and the glass except for this seal around the glass. So if cleaning it off didn't work, we're gonna have to remove this uh, glass and change the seal in it. Fun, that's gonna be fun. All right. Okie dokie, several moons have passed and we now bring ourselves back to the Jaguar. I have received a, uh, a factory Jaguar sunroof seal and we're gonna peel this old seal off of here and uh, see if we uh, can uh, get this thing replaced. Like I said earlier, I'm assuming that this is the reason that all that water is coming in because there, I don't see any other seals here. I could be wrong and I'm going about this all wrong, but um, I, like I said, I don't see anything else. So uh, let's go ahead and get this apart and uh, see what I can do by getting this new seal on here. It, it kind of presses in and rides inside of a, a groove on the glass right here. 
It's actually a very tight fit too. What I'm thinking, is we'll just get it started and work our way around. All right, good, good, good. I'll get the back side off and then we'll tilt the glass inside with the electric motor and then we'll pull the front side off. All right. Okay, let's see. We want to go, we want to close this and then scooch back some. Maybe not, okay. It's just going to uh, take a while. It's gonna be a slow process. <laughs> Loud noises. Hey, it's, this is working. gonna have to do Close it and get the back side. That's the seam. Good, that'll be on the side of the window. All right. And a little bit of tilt. All the tilt, there we go. That's what we Almost, I need, I need to get more in on this corner here, but I cannot reach. I know. This one. Mm, this one. Yes. Is it gonna work? Sure is. Dude, this works better than my finger. Okay, this corner is a little worse than the other one was, I think. I don't know, maybe not. I'm cynical. Cool. Almost there. Oh, it's nice and tight too. This is good. Come on. Ah, oh, it rolled. No, I don't want that. Unroll. Mm -hmm.
Oh yeah, it just pulled itself into the groove. Love it. Okay, that is uh, one new seal. Let's go back to the garden hose and see if that fixed our problem. And it better fix the problem. I don't want to take the headliner out of this. Backing out, it's the Jaguar. Winders up. Got this set up on the antenna. The mirror's holding the weight of the hose. No re necessary. This is standard operating procedure. Everything is nice and saturated. Let's head back inside and see if the water's coming in around this corner. Oh no, look. It's still coming in. Like right, right here. Let's get the hose off of this. I don't want to flood the Jaguar. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Bleep, bleep, bleep. Okay. Hose powering down, fail. All right, let's reinspect this again. Yeah, it's coming in like right, right, well, right here. That's where it's coming in. I don't understand why it's not sealing. Frustrated a lot. Yeah, the seal's in place. Why? Yeah, like right here is the affected area. I just, I don't understand. Okay, so I've been here tinkering with this sunroof, kind of running it back and forth. And I'm watching it as it parks. And when we get to the park position, I can see that this area of the seal is a little bit more uh, compressed than the rest of it. And if I look over here, I see kind of a gap. It's, it's just not... It's not sitting as flush as I think it could be against the body. Here, let me operate it, you can see. Yeah, it goes in the park. That's its park position, but it just seems like there's more space right here than there should be. And I can confirm that because this is squished a little bit. Well, unfortunately, I think I'm gonna have to pull the headliner down and see if something on this track in here is broken. Maybe a rivet is broken off or the uh, piece of plastic is broken. Something is, is causing this to not align properly. And, Let's back it up again. It seems to have a little bit of play. I mean, not much. I don't know. It, it has to be something in the track because we've already exhausted the limits of uh, deductive reasoning. We know it's not the surface of the, of the body. We know it's not the seal. We know it's not the glass. It's gotta be in the track. This thing must not be aligning properly. I, I don't really see it, but We can see it. Water's coming in. Uh, all right, back to the drawing board. Well, guys, it appears that a simple rubber seal replacement was a little bit too optimistic for this problem. I'm going to have to ponder what needs to happen next and then come up with a new plan. Unfortunately, that's going to have to bring this particular video to conclusion. As always, I'd like to thank you for watching. 
and most importantly, I have to wish each and every one of you a great day. See you guys later.